Trying to get to NBC4's Christian Casares, who's live with more on the victim and the others who are now hospitalized. Christian. Michael, good morning to you. I can tell you that within the last hour, I spoke to several members of the Flores family who tell me they are just devastated about what happened. Now, they say they are not ready to go on camera to talk about the nightmare here, but let me step out of the way so you could see the home here uh, near Boyle Avenue and Whittier Boulevard, which you can see the structure here just completely destroyed by the fire. I can tell you that several family members are still here. They've been here for several hours trying to get some of the personal belongings from the home. Now, Fire tells us around 4:30 Thursday morning they were dispatched to a home on fire in Boyle Heights. Now, when they arrived, they say firefighters found one person dead in the front porch who they believe was trying to escape the fire. Fire officials say the flames were so intense they had to use thermal imaging cameras to help locate the people inside. Five people in total were in the home and two were taken to the hospital in critical condition. I can tell you it took 50 firefighters 25 minutes to put out the, the flames and today neighbors came out to show support to the family while still shaken up about what they witnessed. We got up because saw the, the firemen and the noise so we just walked over here and we saw the, all the fire, you know. And we just, I mean, I started praying for the people, but I mean, it's, it's, it's sad, you know, we don't know how it happened. And back out here live, you can see several of the family members still here uh, around the property. They are slowly taking out boxes from clothes and pictures, just anything that basically survived the flames. Now, firefighters would not save the home had fire detectors, but the cause is still under investigation. Now, the identity of the person who died has not been officially released, but right now the family tells me they need time to process the nightmare that happened here this morning. We are live in Boyle Heights. Christian Casares, NBC4 News.